Hello everybody, this is Chocolate Thunder, aka Mikey, and I'd like to start off by welcoming you all to the first episode of my Let's Play Paper Mario series. Now, I know I had originally planned on doing Twilight Princess, but there were a lot of errors, so I ended up not being able to do that, and for that, I apologize. But, I'm going to do Paper Mario because it's a pretty good game. And I'm just going to apologize right off the bat if this one sucks because I've never actually done a full Let's Play. Anyways, to the game. This just uh, popped in my head. I remember playing this game when I was like really little with my cousin. Uh, we wake up like like really early in the morning. I remember playing this with him. I don't know why I just thought of that, but that just popped in my head. All right, so we're in the castle. So what I'm planning on doing is I'm trying to make this funny, but at the same time trying to get through the game so people can get through the game if need be. Alright. Yeah. Here's Peach. Oof. She looks gorgeous. I was just resting a bit. It gets tired and greeting all those guests out there. Um, to make this less quiet during dialogue, I think I'm just going to read it for you. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? That falling animation. Interesting. I've always had this question in my mind. Where did Bowser get the time to build that? Was that always? It couldn't have always been there. He had to have, like... This must have taken him years to plan... But he somehow managed to build a castle under that castle. Oh, are you alright, Mario? What in the world was that? <sighs> oh my, look, Mario. It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see stars outside. Bam. Where was Bowser anyway in the first place? Like, where'd he... Was he on the ground? Oh well. Go ha 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 ha. Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser, but this can't be. It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Gwahahaha. Yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha, this castle is under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Oh, ho, not on Mario's day. Huh? What? It's Mario? What a shock. Oh, not really. I expect you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? 
You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I have had my problems in the past, but this time is different. This time I'm gonna win! Okay, tough guy, let's go! <laughs> what? Oh yeah. You can do it! Si se puede. Bam! I think this is the most boring battle of the game. I mean, you would think, do all this setting, this would be a pretty epic battle, but no, it's it's pretty boring. I do, however, like uh, Nintendo's different take on Paper Mario, how they set it up with a turn-based fighting style. I always like that. Grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use a star rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Ha 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 ha. How do you like that, Mario? Ooh. He's wrecking me. Is that all you've got? How sad. You'd best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. What? Oh. That didn't make sense for a second. <clears throat> Dude, he's about to wreck my day. Oh, look out! Look at Mario's endurance. Yup, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new meat. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. You know, even if he didn't breathe the fire, he still would have killed me in one hit with his claw, because I did three damage. Nonetheless. Oh no, Mario, get up. Yes. Oh yeah, I did it. I finally did it. I beat my old rival Mario. Yes. Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's why you're the king. I believe Cammy Koopa is her name. She has some pretty good nicknames, or pretty funny at least, nicknames for Bowser. At least I think so. As long as I have the star ride, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good to anyone now, that's for sure. Hmm? I'm sorry, I had to add that. Oh no, Mario. Who, who, where did they come from? Okay, so... I forgot to add a time counter, so... I'm not sure when I'm going to have to end this. I might end this... in a couple minutes. Uh, maybe after this cutscene, depending on how long it is. And then... immediately do a second one, but I have a time counter, so I know what I'm getting into. Prologue, a plea from the stars. <sighs> uh, it's amazing how we survived that, but you know what? Nintendo logic. Oh, thank heavens! He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the Star Rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. <laughs> Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. <laughs> I had to make those weird noises, they only fit in. Phew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please, get up. <coughs> please. What the crap? Oh, it really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, who could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up. Come on up and at him. Oh no, he won't wake up. <laughs> oh, oh, what am I gonna do? 
Dad, Goomba, Goomba, oh my word, with the really lame names. Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, Star Spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario, we Star Spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mario, I'm so happy to see you awake. You haven't opened your eyes for days and days. Everyone's been worried sick. Oh, this place, this is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goomba. Then that's not really a village. If it's just you two. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? Yes. No, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone come in or out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Maybe. It's possible. Although maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Haven. That's a very wild hypothesis. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to start even so that would make sense. Maybe he's just on some bad drugs. Who knows, in any case, I'm glad to see you're recovered. I know the Goombas would be happy if you paid them a visit. Uh... Alright, so I'm gonna save it, and I'm possibly gonna end it here for the night. If, I, if this turns out to be not as long as I'd expected, I'll do a second part immediately, but if it's like longer than I expected. <laughs> then um, I won't do another one. I'll wait for another day. Perhaps tomorrow. Depends on how things go. Anyways, I may or may not be doing this again soon tonight. See you all in the next part. Thank you for watching.